What's going on guys? So I am actually creating this video in response to a question that I got from someone who said they completely destroyed their WordPress website and they're wondering how can they salvage any of their posts that they created. Now I'm speculating that in this particular case you can't see anything anymore and that maybe when she visits the site it's all like jumbled and garbled and whatnot. And so I'm gonna show you how to go directly into the database and grab your content and be able to create it again on a new site or new platform or however you choose to do it. So for all that and more, stay tuned. Hi, my name is Paul Kluke. I own my own digital marketing business, Online Marketing Gorilla. I've been at it since 2012, worked on tons and tons of websites, and I'm so excited that you're here. If this video helps you, make sure you like and subscribe if you like getting these kinds of videos to make your WordPress life a little easier. Now, let's dive into how you can recover these lost posts the easiest and most efficient way. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to go into your cPanel. I'm going to assume for this video that you know how to log into your host and you know how to get to this area. If you're not using cPanel, you're still going to need to contact your host. You're going to need a way to get into what they call your MySQL database. And, and there's different ways to do it. Typically you use PHP MyAdmin. We're going to look at that right here. And I'm going to dive right into this section. Now I'm going to look for the database that I want to recover. I know this particular database is the right one. If you want to just verify that it's the right one, just go to options. It's the underscore options tab and make sure that it's the site that you're trying to recover. In this case, this is the demo site that we're using. And now what you want to do is you want to go over to posts. Once you're in posts, then you can start uh, looking at the posts here. You see this one, for instance, what does a gastroenterologist do on your first, and that's gonna be visit. And you can create, or sorry, you can click on edit. And here you'll see all of the HTML that was written on that post. And that is gonna be this post here, what does a gastro gastroenterologist do on your first visit? You can see here's the content, what it used to look like. And if I open a notepad file, you're gonna see the content here. So at least you're not gonna have to rewrite the content. And if you get a new, uh, like let's say you create a new page on a different website or you get your site back up and running, um, the beauty of this is that because it's all in HTML, what you would do is you would go to, let's like, let's go to a dashboard here. And let's suppose we were actually trying to do this. I wanted to create a new page, for instance. I'd click on add new. Then I would type in, uh, you know, what does, uh, you know, you know the rest of that. I'd go to the block editor and I would click on add and I'd click on HTML maybe common blocks. Well, just hit paragraph and then go ahead and I don't know, type something in here and hit enter. And now go back to these three button options and edit as HTML. And then you can just return and paste it all in here. I don't really need this anymore. Uh, and the H1 is going to be in that first section. This is not going to be, we don't really need this in here because that's the title. So the H1 stands for heading one. So I'm going to just delete that for a moment. And convert to HTML and preview. And here you go. So now we have the content back into the WordPress blog. And we can do the same thing here. Well, let's see. Let's 
here, custom HTML. That was what I was looking for before. And we'll hit enter. Preview. And here we have the content. Now this was an, an image and I, this image was actually broken to begin with. You see it right here. So don't let that influence what you're thinking right now. But that's really how you would you would grab any content that you've created right out of the database. Let's go right back and we're gonna go back to posts. And we can go, and the nice thing is everything, your pages included will be under your posts section. And that's, you just grab all of these, just edit. And all of the information is right here. You can grab it and create your new pages on your website. I hope this has been really helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. That'll help me make more of these for people who are stuck with WordPress nightmares and help them feel a little bit better and less frustrated. I'll see you in the next video.